friends, it's me, Silly Miss Lily, and today we're gonna play with our friend Baby. Hello! And learn all about going potty on the toilet. It's a potty party, here's some things we can do. We can count to one, we can count to two, we can read a book or draw a picture of you. It's a potty party song. It's a potty party, we can do some toots that make our belly feel good, going tooty toot toot. Sometimes we pee and sometimes we poop. It's a potty party song. It's a potty party, time to sit down. Sometimes poopy comes, sometimes we wait a while. We can blow some bubbles or sing this song. It's a potty party song. It's a potty party when we're all done. We wipe, 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 and pull our pants up. Wash our hands and we're ready to play. It's a potty party song. It's a potty party song. It's a potty party song. Great job! <laughs> Oh, oh, I want to learn. You do? Yeah, I'm ready to learn. How do we learn about going potty? Great question. There's a few things we have to keep in mind. When we're learning to go on the toilet or the potty instead of our diapers, we have to start paying attention to the little feeling in your belly right before you feel like you have to go pee. Because when we're first wearing diapers, Whenever you have to pee or poop, you just go and you never really have to hold it. But when you're learning to go to the toilet, you have to start remembering, hmm, I think my belly's trying to tell me something. I think it's trying to tell me I need to go potty. And when you feel that feeling in your belly, you gotta stop what you're doing, go over to the potty and sit right down. Okay, that sounds fun. I think I can do it. Of course you can. It takes a little bit of practice. Sometimes it might take you a few days or a couple of weeks, but we can do it together. Oh yeah, I'm so excited to learn. Me too, it's gonna be so much fun. You know what else we'll do? Since we're switching over to learn to go potty on the toilet, let's switch to underwears and we'll put the diapers away. Cause sometimes it could be confusing. Am I wearing a diaper? Am I wearing underwears when you're just playing, playing? And so it's good to make a decision and stick with it. So we'll just switch over to the underwears so it's not confusing and you can remember that, okay, now I'm learning how to go potty to the toilet. And we'll just keep playing and when you feel that feeling in your belly, we'll stop what we're doing, run to the potty, and then we'll keep practicing, practicing till we get it. How does that sound? Oh, that sounds really good. I'm so excited about learning how to go potty on the toilet with you and play some activities and play with our toys. Come on! Let's play with this dollhouse. I have two dogs. This one's called Bluey and this one's named Bingo. And this is their little puppy house that I thought we could play together, put in some furniture, and learn about going potty. You want to? Say, bark, 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 we're ready. I'll put the pups over here. Let's see what kind of furniture we have. Furniture are things that you kind of sit on or sit at. So we sit at a table and we sit on some chairs. Here we go, some chairs for the dining room table. And, oh, I have one more chair. Let's see how many chairs we have. One, two, three, and four. Four chairs. I also have a couch and some cushions. Here we go, we'll put this in the living room. That's kind of the room where people hang out and chit chat. I also have two beds. We'll put one here in the bedroom. Excuse me, Papa Roonies. And I have a stove and an oven for the kitchen. I also have a sink for the bathroom. 
and a toilet. We'll put right here in the bathroom. Look at this wonderful house we have set up for our pups. Oh yeah, we like our house. Thank you for helping us with it. Puppies have their house all set up, set up, and they're playing, 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 playing. When this brown pup, Bingo, says, oh, I think I have to go potty. Oh, I can help you, I can help you. First, we'll go over to the bathroom together. Walk, 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 walk to the bathroom. Now we're over at the bathroom, and I'll lift up the potty so it's nice and open for you. And whenever you're ready to go potty, you just stop what you're doing, run on over to the bathroom, and sit on down. And you can wait, wait, wait. Sometimes we have to wait a little bit to pee or poop. So you wait, 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 and then when you're ready to go, you do your potty business. Then you flush, flush, get dressed, and then wash your hands. Wash, wash, wash in the sink. Oh, wash my hands too. Wash, wash, wash our hands in the sink. Yay, great job. Here. You can go in here. Okay, you can put me on. Wash, 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 I love playing with the toys, but I think I feel it in my belly like I have to go pee. Thank you for telling me. This is a perfect time to remember that feeling. So when you feel it, we stop what we're doing. We'll stop playing with this toy. We'll run over to the bathroom and then we'll go potty. Does that sound good? Let's do it. All right, now we're over in the bathroom. So climb, climb, climb all the way up on the potty. Sit on down. And then now we just have to wait, 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 wait. Sometimes it takes a while for us to pee or poop. Something you can do is get comfy and you can do some counting. We can count our fingers when we're just sitting around waiting. Let's count our fingers on our hands. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten fingers. We have five fingers on one hand. That's why we call it a high five. We put our hand up and we go up high, five. Isn't that cool? We can count our fingers while we wait. We're just, I'm all done. Wow, great job going potty in the toilet. Baby says, I'm all done. All right, let's go wash up our hands and we'll go back to play. Wash, wash, wash. Great job, come on. Baby, great job going potty and great job remembering that feeling and letting me know that you need to go potty. When you feel it in your belly, you just gotta let your grown up know and say, I gotta go potty and then run over to the potty, sit down and do your potty business. Great job, baby. Woo, this is really fun to learn about going potty. Yeah, it is. It's some big kid stuff. You're growing up. Let's put some of our toys away. We'll do some cleaning. Let's clean up the puppy house. And then how about we have a fun little snack together? Yeah, that sounds good. Let's do it. It's a great time for a snack. So let's make a really yummy, easy snack together. We'll cut up some apples and then put a little peanut butter on the side to kind of dip them in and eat them. How does that sound? That sounds really good. Let's do it. I've cut up some apples into slices and we can use them as chips and we'll dip it in a little bit of peanut butter and it'll be a really, really, really good snack. Here's our apple slices. And I'll put peanut butter in the middle. And then we can use our apples to dip in the peanut butter. 
and have a really nice, healthy, yummy snack. Mmm! That's very good. Oh, oh! I think I feel it in my belly like I have to go to the bathroom. Let's go potty. We'll stop what we're doing. We'll run to the potty, do our business, and then we can come back and finish up. Okay, let's do it. Here we go. All right, we're back in the bathroom. Good job listening to your body and going to the restroom when you need to go. We'll climb up and then we'll just wait till you go potty on the toilet. Sometimes we wait, wait, wait till it happens. Something you can do is if you have some paper and pens in your bathroom, you can draw some fun pictures. We'll draw, hey, we'll draw baby. So we'll draw a circle. Baby has two eyes. One, two, a nose and a mouth and hair. Woo! That's cute. All right. And baby says, I'm all done. I did it. Yeah, great job. We'll flush. Let's go wash our hands. Wash, wash. Oh, wow, great job, baby. You did a great job letting me know and listening to your body when your belly said, I think I have to go pee. Now we're back, we can finish our snack and then play some more. Here's one for you. And one for me. Oh, wow, we finished up our snack. Let's clean up and we can play some fun activities that you can do at home as well if you ask your grown-up for help. Let's do it. Clean up, clean up, everybody let's clean up. Clean up, clean up, put your dishes away. The way we know that we need to go potty is that we feel it in our belly. There's a part in our belly called our bladder and that's where all the liquid goes, like water or juice or milk. And when it fills up, that's when your belly lets you know, hey, I think I need to go empty this bladder. So when you're learning to go potty, it's important to drink lots of water so you can fill up your bladder in your belly. And then it'll let you know, oh, I gotta go to the bathroom. So make sure you're drinking lots of water. I'll drink my water. Mmm, very good. Good job drinking your water. Here's a fun activity you can do at home if you ask your owner for help. You can put some contact paper it's called contact paper and it's sticky on one side but not the other and you can tape it to the wall with the sticky part out and then if you put something like a butterfly behind it you can do a really cute butterfly design i cut up some pieces of paper with all the different colors and then we can put it all around and design our own butterfly ready here we go i'll put a purple piece and, ooh, what about a green one? An orange one. Ooh, pink one here. A red one. Another orange one. How about this piece? Let's put this red piece here. Here we go. Here we go. This is gonna be a very cute butterfly. And baby says, I want to try, I want to try. Okay, here we go. You can pick up a piece and then stick it on. Pick up, ooh, a green piece. Stick it on. Oh, baby says, I, I feel it in my belly like I have to go potty. <gasps> Thank you for telling me. We'll stop what we're doing. We'll run to the potty and then we can come back and continue. Great job telling me. Come on. Baby, great job listening to your body and stopping what we were doing, running over to the bathroom, climbing up on the potty. Go ahead and sit down and we'll wait, wait, wait. You know what something you can do is read a book. And if you have a book in your bathroom, you can read it together. Sometimes it's fun to read the words, sometimes just to look at the pictures. Oh, what about this? Quack, quack, quack. Oh, that's a duck. That's right. Okay, who goes? Nay, nay. Oh, a horse. That's right. Who goes like this? Ribbit, ribbit. A frog. That's right. Who goes? Meow, 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 meow. Oh, a cat does that. Right. And baby says, I'm, I'm all done. Thank you. Okay, we'll flush it together. Flush. 
pull our pants up. Well, first we wipe, 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 and we pull our pants up, and let's go wash our hands. Wash, wash, wash. Great job going potty. Now we can continue doing our activity. Okay, let's do it. Let's put on another purple piece, orange piece. All right, that looks wonderful. Thank you for playing with me. Oh, let's do another fun activity. All right, I got another fun activity that you could play at home as well. Come on. Here's another fun activity you can do at home, and all you need is a puzzle and some painter's tape. And what you're gonna do is grab some tape, grab your puzzle piece, and tape it to the wall. And we'll tape all of the pieces, and then we're gonna play a puzzle rescue where we'll rescue the pieces and put them back in the puzzle. It's gonna be so much fun. Here we go. I got a rhino, who else we've got? A zebra and a hippopotamus. Let's see what other animals we've got. An elephant, stomp, 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 stomp. And an alligator, chomp, 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 chomp. A giraffe, hello. I've got an ostrich. Here we go. And I have one last piece left. And it's a line going, Arr! And the pieces say, hello, will you help? rescue us and put us back in the puzzle? Sure, we'd love to help. First, I'll drink some of my water, says baby. Great job drinking your water. And now let's help rescue the puzzle pieces. Are you ready? All right, first, how about we get somebody who goes stomp, stomp, stomp? Who goes stomp, stomp, stomp? An elephant? Here's an elephant. We're gonna peel the tape. Peel. Great job. We'll take the tape off and let's find the puzzle piece. Let's see. Do you see the part with the elephant? Right here. Let's put it in. Here we go. Elephant. Let's get the rest of the pieces. Okay, I'm ready. I'm ready. <gasps> Wait. I think I feel it in my belly like I need to go to the bathroom. All right, we'll stop what we're doing. We'll run to the bathroom, you can go potty, and then we'll come back and keep playing. You ready? Come on! All right, baby, great job listening to your body and coming over to the restroom when you need to go. We'll climb up on the potty, we'll sit on down, and we'll wait, wait, wait. Sometimes we feel it in our belly when we have to go pee, and sometimes we feel it when we have to go poop. Sometimes you can also kind of tell that you need to go poop if you're having lots of toots, doing tooty toot toot. It's your belly's way of letting you know, I might need to empty out this belly and go poop on the toilet. So when you're feeling like you're having lots of toots, make sure you run over to the bathroom and do lots of toots to make your belly feel good. And baby says, baby's all done, I'm all done. We'll wipe, 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 pull our pants up. Make sure to flush. Let's go wash our hands. Wash, wash, wash. All right, and now we're back and we can continue playing. Great job telling me and great job going potty on the toilet. Let's do a high five. <gasps> high five! And we can do a high five too. <laughs> high five! Now let's finish playing our activity and get all of the puzzles pieces back into the puzzle. All right, let's see if we can find somebody with a long neck. Who's got a long neck? Oh, giraffe, giraffe, that's right. Here it is, let's peel it. And we'll put it back in our puzzle. Let's find the spot, let's find the spot. Do you see the spot with the giraffe? 
right here. Let's put it in. All right, let's see who's next. Ooh, I peeled an alligator, I peeled an alligator. Great job, let's put it back in the puzzle. Mm, oh, here it is, clink. We've got two pieces left. Oh, I see a rhino. Here we go, rhino, put you back in. And one last piece with a zebra. Hi, zebra. Let's put you back in. All right, that was really fun. And you know what else? I've got another fun activity for us to do. You ready? Come on. Here's another fun activity you can do at home and make your own kazoo. Kazoo, it's a silly word, but it's a little musical instrument that you blow into and then it makes this fun sound. And you can make one at home. Let's see what we need. You need a cardboard tube. You can get this from the paper towel roll or you can get a small one from a toilet paper roll. If you get a long one, you can cut it in half. And let's see, we'll also need a rubber band. It's like a hair tie, stretchy rubber band. And some wax paper. So we'll cut a little piece. Let's see. Then we just need one. You wanna take the wax paper and put it over the cardboard roll and put the rubber band over it to kinda of keep it tight, keep it in place. And with your grown-ups help, make a hole in the tube. And then you just blow into this part, ready? Now you made your very own kazoo. Oh, oh, I think I need to go to the party. I feel it in my belly. Great job telling us. You know what? Let's go. You can even bring your kazoo in there. Come on. Here we go. Great job listening to your body and running over to the restroom when we need to. We'll climb on up. And you can even play your kazoo. <laughs> Do, 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 do. And I peed. Great job, baby. Sometimes when we blow on things, it helps press our belly and helps us pee. Go blow. All right, let's wipe, wipe, wipe. We'll flush, pull up our pants, and let's go wash our hands. Wash, wash. And we're back. Great job going to the bathroom. And I liked it when you were playing your kazoo. That's super fun. You know what, we can clean this stuff up and use the other part of this tube for another really fun activity. You ready? All right, I'll put this stuff away. Baby, you can drink some water. Oh, that's very good. And I'll put this stuff away and I'll get out some blue paint, a plate, and let's see, oh, the tube that we need. That's all we need. And a piece of paper. Here we go. Okay, I'm gonna put some of this blue paint here. And then we're gonna make some bubbles, stamping them with the circle that's on the tube. So we'll go dip, 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 dip. Stamp. Oh, and I made a bubble. It looks like a little bubble that we did. Let's do more bubbles. Stamp. Look at this bubble we made. Stamp. Oh wow, look at this one. He says, I wanna do it, I wanna do it. Okay, here we go. Let's do another one. Stamp it in, and then put it on your paper. Stamp. Great job. He says, oh, oh, I feel it in my belly. I gotta go to the potty. Okay, we'll stop what we're doing. We'll leave this right here and run to the potty. Come on. All right, baby, we're back in the restroom. Here we go. We'll climb on up on the potty. 
And while we wait, wait, wait. Oh, remember when we were blowing in the kazoo? Again, to help us go pee and kind of press our belly, you can pretend to blow bubbles. Let's pretend to blow bubbles together. Ready? <sighs> bubble, 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 bubble. When we blow out, it presses our belly and helps us pee. So when you're just waiting, waiting to go pee, you can pretend to blow bubbles. <sighs> Ready? Blow! <sighs> all right, baby, are you all done? Faces, I'm all done. I peed. All right, we'll go wipe, wipe, flush, pull their pants up, and we'll wash our hands. Wash, wash. Great job. That's a good activity. You like that activity? Yay. All right, great job going, baby. Let's finish our activity. Here we go. We'll do more stamping. And this turned out like really cute bubbles. Then you can even do more and stamp it everywhere, everywhere. Ready? How cute. All right, great job. Look how beautiful this turned out. I love it. All right, now let's clean up and then we'll play some more. Come on. Here's another fun activity you can play at home with your puzzle. It's called hide and seek. It's fun to play hide and seek with people where you go find a spot, hide, and then somebody comes and finds you. They're seeking you. And you can also play it with your toys where you take puzzle pieces and we'll kind of set them in different areas. And they're gonna be hiding, hiding. Here you go, baby. I'll put you over here. And we'll hide the animals. Then maybe we'll come back and try to find them. Here we go. And you can play it on shelves and hide the animals or the puzzle pieces on the shelf. You can also hide them in your couch and play hide and seek with your toys. Okay, so I'll leave this here and then we'll have baby come and find them. Hello, hello, I'm ready to play. Okay, all of the pieces are hiding and so now let's go find them. Hmm, oh, oh, I found an alligator. Let's put him back in. Oh, I feel it in my belly, like I have to go potty. Okay, let's stop what we're doing and run to the potty. You ready? Come on. Great job listening to your body, baby. We'll climb on up, sit on down. I think you're really getting a hang of this. It takes some time, but learning to go potty is really fun, because then you can go anytime you need to. Just make sure the bathroom's ready and open for you to go, so when you feel like you need to go, you can run over there, climb on up, and sit down. And while you wait, there's so many things you can do, like count, pretend to blow bubbles, read, draw, or even sing a song, like the Potty Party song. It's a potty party, here's some things we can do. We can count to one, we can count to two, we can read a book or draw a picture of you. It's a potty party song. It's a potty party, we can do some toots that make our belly feel good. Going tooty toot toot. Sometimes we pee and sometimes we poop. It's a potty party song. It's a potty party, time to sit down. Sometimes poopy comes, sometimes we wait a while. We can blow some bubbles or sing this song. It's a potty party song. It's a potty party when we're all done. We wipe, 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 and pull our pants up. Wash our hands and we're ready to play. It's a potty party song. It's a potty party song. It's a potty party song. Great job. <laughs> Yay, great job, all right. Then we'll wipe, 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 pull our pants up, flush, and let's go wash our hands. Wash, wash. Great job going to the bathroom and going potty. Great job listening to your body when you get that feeling thinking, 
I might need to go pee. I might need to go poop. And we go, go, go to the bathroom. It's important to stop what you're doing, run to the bathroom, and sit on down so you can go potty. Great job. All right, now we can play the rest of the activity and find all of the puzzle pieces that are hiding. Come on. All right, let's see who else is hiding. Ooh, I see a hippo right over here. Let's put it back in. And stomp, stomp, stomp. Oh, look, an elephant was hiding behind there. Let's put the elephant back in. All right, let's see who else we can find. Hmm. Do you see anybody? What about down here? Here's a zebra we found. Let's put the zebra back in the puzzle. In. All right, who else is hiding, hiding? Oh, check this basket. Oh, wow, a rhino. Let's put the rhino in. Here we go. Let's see, I'm looking for somebody with a long neck. <gasps> Here it is, here's a giraffe. Let's put giraffe back in the puzzle. Looks like we've got two pieces left a lion and an ostrich. Let's check this basket. Oh wow, we found the lion. Let's put lion in. And we've got one piece left. Hmm, let's see where we can look. Let's turn this puzzle. <gasps> An ostrich was hiding in there. Let's put ostrich back in. Do you see other puzzle pieces? I found a giraffe. Yahoo! Stomp, stomp, stomp. You found it. Find the spot in the puzzle. Wait. You found it. Nice. I found the giraffe. <laughs> I found the Good job. You're a good helper and a great friend. I found you. Well, this is the ship. Great job helping me with this puzzle. And let's put it back. It's important to put our toys back when we're done playing with them. So then when we're ready to play again, we can grab them and play again. And baby, how do you feel? I feel great. I feel like I can recognize that feeling in my belly. And when I feel it like I have to go, I stop what I'm doing and I run to the bathroom and go potty. Great job learning how to go potty on the toilet. It takes some time and it takes some practice, but more and more you practice, the better you're gonna get at it. And I'm sure you're gonna get it in no time. Well, thank you again for playing with me, learning with me, and learning how to use the restroom to go potty on the toilet. Thank you so much. Well, that's the end of this video. But if you're looking for more of our videos, make sure to search for Paisley's Corner with Silly Miss Lily, and I'll see you then. Bye-bye! Bye-bye! It's me, Silly Miss Lily, and I'm so excited to play with you today. Today, we're gonna learn at an indoor playground called Nido. It's gonna be so much fun. Come on! Oh, wow, there's a farmer's market, an ice cream shop, ooh, a doctor's office, Wow, this is gonna be so much fun. I'm so excited to play with you, come on. Welcome to the ice cream shop. May I get you an ice cream cone? Let's do it. How about this cone and, ooh, 
Let's get some strawberry. Ooh, and vanilla ice cream. Ooh, we have two scoops. How about we do one more? Ooh, do you like chocolate? Have a little chocolate ice cream on top. Here you go, enjoy. I also have some cupcakes. Let's count them together. One, two, three, four, five cupcakes. Mmm, yummy. Look, I've got even more ice cream. Let's count them together. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Wow, so many. Here's one for you. Enjoy. Now we're over at the farm. I've got my wheelbarrow. Let's see what kind of vegetables we have at the farm. I see carrots, lettuce, ooh, some cauliflower, and even radishes. Let's help water the vegetables. Watering our vegetables. And you know what? I see a farmer's market stand behind me. How about we bring three carrots over to the farmer's market? Ready? One, two, three. Three carrots, here we go. Hello, I brought over some carrots. One, two, three. Now we're over at the farmer's market. I got the three carrots from the farm. Let's see what else we've got. Oh, I've got a little bucket with some purple fruits and vegetables. Let's see what we've got. An eggplant. Ooh, grapes. Blackberries. And a plum. Wow, these are all so very yummy. Let's put them back. Ooh, let's see what else I've got. Wow, a bucket with yellow food. Let's see what's inside. A banana, yum, 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 yum. Ooh, a bell pepper, yellow bell pepper. Yellow corn, mmm. And a lemon, wow. Oh, I see one more. A yellow apple, crunch, crunch, crunch. Wow, how yummy. Now, do you see a bucket with any red food? You do? Where? Down here? Thank you, let me grab, whoa. Look at this, red grapes, a red tomato, ooh, a red apple, and a strawberry. Wow, these are so yummy. Yum, 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 yum. Hey, I have a pineapple here. Would you be able to cut it for yeah, me? Yeah, I can make pineapple juice. I would love some. Nice touch. Here's a little pineapple juice. Wow, that was very refreshing. Hello, hello. Tell what? me about your bucket. Red stuff. What? Red stuff? Let's take a look. What do I have? An apple. A oh, tomato. Yellow stuff. Whoa, more stuff. Look at this. Orange. Whoa. Look at this. We got orange, yellow, red. Okay, okay. Check this out. I've got a red bucket. What's in there? Let's take a look. Yum. Some vegetables. Right. Fig. Fig. Good one. Smell. It's, yeah, it has a magnet inside. Good one. Good one, Paisley. Would you like a piece of pineapple? Mommy, you can, you can, you can make pineapple. Okay, here I go. Squeeze it up. Here's a cup of pineapple juice. How was it? Yay! Whoa. I think that's lettuce straight from the farm. Oh, thank you. What else do you have at your farm? Lettuce. Whoa, all right. Hey, do you have any carrots? Yum. 
carrot. Nice. Another carrot. What? Two carrots. One carrot. Wow. Wow. the doctor's area. A doctor is someone who helps people when they're feeling sick or just to do checkups to make sure you're nice and healthy. Here we go. Let's help our friend go to the doctor's. All right, let's see what's going on. We can put a big bandaid on your arm. And here's some medicine. This is a syringe where the medicine goes whoop. Let's see, we'll put a little ointment. Boop, 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 boop. And, ooh, how about a Band-Aid? Band-Aid, let's put it on. Here's some vitamins. Here you go. And, ooh, I have a stethoscope. I'll put these in my ears, and I'll put this to hear the baby's heartbeat. Boom, 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 boom. Wow, you sound nice and healthy. Great job going to the doctors. Thank you very much. Yeah, I do need to wash my hands. Now we're at a police station. A police officer is someone who helps the community stay safe. You will recognize them wearing a uniform, like a hat and a jacket that says police on it. And they'll have a badge that says, I'm a police officer, I'm here to help. Some police officers will use a radio and say, hello, hello, I'm here to help. Hello, hello, this is my radio, I'm here. And a lot of police officers even work with dogs and say, hello, bark, bark, I can help, I can help. And some police officers ride on a horse. How cool is that? Whoa, look at this car slide. Let's see how many cars we can slide down. Here's a purple car. Whee! Whoa, here's a green one. Whoa, here's a gray car. Ooh, I'll move this one out of the way so we don't bonk it. Here's an orange one. Wow, we'll park this one back. Oh, here's a yellow motorcycle. Whoa, an RV. Wow, here's a red race car. Whoa, it went so fast. Here's a blue one. Wow. And here comes a red one. How fun. Let's put all of our cars back. Clean up, clean up. Everybody, let's clean up. Clean up, clean up. Put your things away. Clean up, clean up. Everybody, let's clean up. Clean up, clean up. Put your cars away. We did it! Yay! Oh, wow! Let's see what this word says. This, do you know this letter? This is the letter U that makes the uh sound. And this, this is the letter P that makes a p sound. Ah, uh, p, ah, uh, p, up, up. This says up. Let's go up. Here we go. Let's climb. We're going up, up, up. We did it. Going up, 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 and through. Hello, I did it. We climbed all the way to the top. Oh, another word. Let's see what this one says. 
there's a letter D that makes the D sound. O, W, W kind of makes that W, W sound. And the letter N, N makes the N, N sound. Let's put them together. D, O, N, D, O, N, D, O, N, down, down. Let's go down. Let's go down on the count of three. One, two, three. Here we go. Whee! Look at this. Here we can climb on and bounce. Do you know who like to bounce? Kangaroos. Let's bounce like kangaroos together. Ready? <gasps> bounce, 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 bounce. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hello. Whoa, we did it. There's little spin wheels. Let's see if we can blow on them. Wow, it spins. Here's an airplane. Wow. Here's a blue spinner, a white spinner, and an orange spinner. Look at this. Wow. Whoa, when I go one way, it's the color silver or grayish. But then when I go this way, it's blue. I wonder if we can do a heart. Maybe we can't, but maybe we can. We can do hard things. It kind of looks like a heart. Yeah, we did it, yay! Oh, look at this. When I spin it, whoa, all oh, the other ones spin too. How cool. Whoa, look at this. Let's climb together. First, we'll go up. Here we go. Whoa, whoa. Feel a little nervous up here. I'm gonna take a deep breath. Here we go. Whee! I did it. You can also climb up. Whoa, whoa. You ready? We're gonna jump. One, two, three. Whoa, yay. Blocks. I've got some that are blue and some that are gray. Let's see what we can build together. Hmm, <gasps> maybe we can build a house. <gasps> Here we go. First we'll build a wall and stack more up top. Whoa, wow. Look at this. We're making it really tall. And let's see if we can make a roof. Let's use one more in here. And whoa, look at this house. Yay! some letters. A, B, C, D, E, 
U R S T U V W X Y and Z. Yay! That was great. You did a good job and you know your letters. Oh wow, a vet's office. Come on. Oh wow, look at all this. Oh wow, look, now we're over at the vet's office. A veterinarian. Veterinarian is someone who helps the pets, like a pet doctor, a doctor for animals. <gasps> look, another word. Let's see what it says. This is the letter P, makes the p, p sound. Letter E, and letter T, that makes the T sound. Let's see if we can read it together. P, A, T, P, A, T, Pet, Pet. This is where you can bring your pet. Let's see who we have. Oh wow, there's some dogs, a koala, and even some cats. Okay, koala, let's help you over at the vet's office. Let's first check your temperature. Looks good. We use a thermometer to check our temperature to see if our body's feeling hot or cold. Here we go, here's a little medicine. And we'll put it in your arm, ready? Oh wow, Koala, you look so good. Good job coming into the vet's office. Oh look, now we've got a dog, a dog in the vet's office. The dog's like bark, 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 bark. Oh look, another word. Let's see what it says. We've got a letter D that makes the D, D, D sound. Oh, and letter G that makes the G sound. Let's try to read it together. D. Dog, 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 dog. It's time to care of a dog. Here we go. Let's first give this dog a bath. Here we go. We'll put you in the sink. Wash, 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 wash. Oh wow! Now let's brush it. Brushing the dog. Brushing the dog. Oh wow, you look so good. Now we're on this side and I see some cats. This cat says, meow, 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 meow. Oh look, another word. Let's try to read it together. All right, we've got a letter C that makes the k sound. Letter A, ah. And letter T that makes the t sound. Let's try to read it together. K, ah, t. Cat, cat, this says cat. Meow, 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 I'm a cat. Will you help me? Uh, we'd love to help you at the vet's office, come on. Let's see, we've got some x-ray pictures. That looks good, let's check your heart. That looks good. I'm gonna get you some medicine. Let me put you some medicine in the syringe. Here you go. Oh, wow. Kitty, you look so great. Great job coming to the vet. Hello, hello, I'm a dog and I need to go to the vet. Can I come up to this counter? You can go up on the counter. Here I am. You can wash your eyes. Oh, thank you, thank you. Wash them up, wash them up. Oh, I like that. And then they do that because because there's some smoke because they like to wash it, bath and shower. So I they do a shower and we'll wash them off in the winter. for helping me. You need a brush, a brush. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh -huh. You are so kind and gentle. Mm -hmm. All right, do you want a little shower? Would you like some medicine today? Yeah. Here is some medicine. How about this? Mm -hmm. 
now we're at a cafe where we can make some smoothies or coffee. Let's do it together. All right. Oh, look, another word. Let's see what it says. We have a letter D for D, D. R that makes a R sound. I, E. Letter N for N. And letter K that makes a K sound. Let's try reading it together. D, R, N, K. Drink, 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 drink. We can make some drinks here. All right, first, let's wash our hands. Wash, wash. All right, let's make a coffee. Ooh, I'll put this in and press. Here comes the coffee. I'll have a little coffee. Mmm, that was very good. I'll put it in here to wash. And would you like a smoothie? Let's make it together. Here's my mixer. I'll put some fruits in. Ready to blend. And I'll pour it in here. Pour, pour, pour. And here's a smoothie for you. Enjoy. Now we'll put our toys back. Wash, wash our dishes. Put it back. Let's clean all this up. Spray, 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 spray. Sweep, sweep, sweep. All right. Oh, may I have a strawberry coffee, please? Looks like there's a hot cup. Oh, oh wow. A fun pitcher. It's important to wash your hands. Here's your water. And I'll make myself a coffee, an iced coffee. Ooh. I'll make a smoothie. I'll mix up an orange smoothie. Mix, mix, mix. Pour it in. Would you like a smoothie? Yeah. Yeah, here you go. And I'll make a little coffee. There we go. Let's see. Cheers. Oh, thank you. Oh, very good. Coffee. Oh, thank you very much. Oh, that is refreshing. Thank you very much. Very good. Oh wow, look at this light bright. Let's see what colors we see. I see purple, green, orange, yellow, red. I wonder what color this is gonna be. Let's flip it. Blue, blue, another blue, and one more. Wow, look at that. How fun. Now we're over at the grocery store. Let's see what we can find. Ooh, wow, look at all this. Another word. Let's see if we can read it together. We got on the letter E. Makes it E uh, sound. Letter A. And the letter T that makes the T sound. Eat. 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 We can't stop to eat here. Oh, wow. Let's see what we've got. Ooh, I've got some sugar, flour, vanilla extract, and baking soda. Ooh, and butter. Ooh, those are all great ingredients if you wanna do some baking. Mix them all up together, 
mix it all up and make something yummy like a cake or bread or cupcakes. Okay, let's play grocery store. Hello, what would you like today? Would you like to get uh, broccoli? Maybe some grapes? How about a lemon? Ooh, a carrot! And a banana! And I'll put it all in a bag for you. Lemon looks good. Oh, great carrot. Here we go. Beep, 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 cash you out. Here you go, and you can bring this home. Thanks for shopping with me. Ooh, do you have any carrots? What's this? Maybe some hot sauce? Orange juice. Thank you so much for learning with me and playing with me. I'm really proud of you. Well, that's the end of this video. But if you're looking for more of our videos, make sure to search for Paisley's Corner with Silly Miss Lily. And I'll see you then. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. me, Silly Miss Lily, and I'm so excited to play with you today. Today, we're going to help our friend Baby wake up and have a really great day. We're going to eat a yummy, healthy breakfast, do some stretches. We're going to do some really fun activities. Oh, it's going to be so much fun. I'm so excited to play with you. Come on. Good, good morning, good, good morning. I love you, yes I do. Let's wake up and stretch, eat a healthy breakfast. Time to wake, time to wake. Oh wow, look, our baby's waking up. Hi baby, did you sleep good? Baby says, yes, I slept well. Oh, that's so good to hear. How about we get dressed and get ready for the day? Okay, let's do it. This is the way we wash our face. Wash our face, wash our face. This is the way we wash our face early in the morning. This is the way we brush our teeth. Brush our teeth, brush our teeth. This is the way we brush our teeth early in the morning. This is the way we brush our hair, brush our hair, brush our hair. This is the way we brush our hair early in the morning. This is the way we get dressed, get dressed, get dressed. This is the way we get dressed early in the morning. Oh wow, baby, look at you. You brushed your teeth, you washed your face, we brushed your hair, and you got dressed. You look ready for the day. Oh wow, says baby, I feel ready. Oh, how about we do some stretches? What are stretches? Oh, stretches are really good for our body, especially after we wake up, because we're kind of sleeping in one position. When I wake up and stretch, stretch, stretch. Stretch up tall so we can grow really tall and long. Stretch all of our muscles in our body. Let's stretch together. Now let's stretch together. First, let's pretend we're a flower. Flowers start out as a small little seed and then they start growing, 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 growing and open up to the sun. Oh, let's pretend for a sunflower. They open up to the sun. You ready? Start out really small like a little seed 
and then we'll grow together. Okay, here we go. We're a little flower seed and let's grow, 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 grow. Open all the way up to the sun. Stretch your arms really big like a flower. Wow, look at us, we're beautiful flowers. Now, let's stretch like a flamingo. Flamingos have their big wings. First, let's flap them around. Ooh, that's really fun. And flamingos can stand on one leg. Let's find our balance. If you have a wall nearby, you can hold onto the wall and then pick up one of your legs. Look at us! Whoa! Whoa! It can be tough. It can be a little tricky. We did it! Should we try it on another leg? Okay, come on. We'll find our balance again. Hold onto a wall if you need to. And let's put our leg up. Stretch it, stretch it, stretch it all the way up. Wow! Look at us, we're flamingos together. How cute! All right, for the next stretch, ooh, let's turn our heads. You know who can do that really well? Owls. They like to go like this. Hoo, 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 hoo. Some owls can even turn their head all the way from the front, all the way to the back, all the way to, from the back, all the way to the front. We'll turn our head from side to side. Ready? This side, and then stretch it all the way to this side. And stretch it all the way to this side. And then all the way to this side. Wow! We make really great owls. Oh, how about we stretch our shoulders? These are shoulders. Oh, let's pretend we're penguins. And we'll waddle and kind of shrug our shoulders together. We're gonna go up and down, up and down, up and down. You wanna do it with me? We'll kind of waddle along. <gasps> up and down, up and down, waddle, waddle, waddle. Up and down, up and down, waddle, waddle, waddle. Wow, I feel great stretching with you. Now let's do, ooh, a giraffe stretch. How about giraffes, how huh? they got that long neck. We'll pretend we have a long neck with our arms Stretch him up really up high. Ready? And we can sway side to side. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Look at us. We're great giraffes. Yay! Now, ooh, I got another great one. Let's pretend we're butterflies. Did you know that butterflies start out as caterpillars? and then they eat up their little leaves, and then they make a little chrysalis, and they get all comfy in their chrysalis while they grow their wings. And when they break out of their chrysalis, they stretch their wings really wide, and then they kind of dry them, dry them, dry them, and then they start getting ready to fly. All right, first we'll wiggle around like a caterpillar. Wiggle, 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 wiggle. wiggle. Wiggle, 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 wiggle. All right, now let's get into our chrysalis. We'll get really tight. Ready? And then let's stretch our wings really big. Whoa! Now we're butterflies. We're stretching our wings really big. Now let's fly around like butterflies. Ready? with me. Which stretch should we do first? A windmill. Let's do windmills. Ready? Shoo, 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 shoo. 
Oh, you're fast. <laughs> Whoa. That was really good. Okay, what about the flower stretch? Okay, that one is you start from a little seed and then you grow, 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 grow. You want to do that one? Mommy, shit, we want to try to do that flow. Okay. You want to go? We start from a little seed and we grow, 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 and we grow. Beautiful. Go down here, then roll up into the sky. Chicken, that's a beautiful stretch. Jump right down. Chicken says, crazy, crazy. Can you show me how you do flower stretch? I start down on a little then I roll, 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 and then I Oh, you got beautiful flower. I love it. mango. Yeah, mango's good. Now let's have some yummy breakfast. Oh, breakfast is so important because when we eat the good food in the morning, it gives us energy to play all day long. Let's see what kind of fruits and vegetables we have. To sign fruits, you can go like this. Fruits, fruits, fruits. And to sign vegetables, you put your fingers up, kind of in the letter V, vegetables vegetables, fruits, and vegetables. Let's see what we've got. Hmm. Oh, you know what's a fun game to play? Have you ever played I Spy? When it says I Spy, it means I see something. And so you can go like this. I spy with my little eye. And you name something about the thing you see. So I'll show you how to play. I spy with my little eye something orange. Do you see something orange? <gasps> yeah, the oranges. Let's see. This is an orange. To sign for an orange, we go like this. Orange, orange, orange. Let's see how many oranges we have. One. Two, three, did we get them all? There's some more over here. Four and five. Wow, we've got five oranges. Let's see what else we have. I spy with my little eye something yellow. Do you see a yellow fruit? Yeah, right here. This is a banana. To sign for banana, we go like this. Banana, banana. You're gonna pretend to peel a banana. We pretend your index finger is the banana. You pretend to peel it. Banana, banana. Let's see how many bananas we have. One, ooh, two, three, and four. Four bananas. Let's see what else we see. Hmm, ooh, I see some strawberries. You can sign for strawberry like this, strawberry, or you can just go berry. This is the sign for berry. And you can use it to sign for strawberry if you'd like. Berry, you take your index finger, kind of like a stem, and then you sign for the berry at the end of it. Berry. Let's see how many strawberries we have. One, two, three. Three strawberries. Let's see what else we see. Hmm, ooh, I see some apples. Apples. This is an apple. To sign for an apple, we go like this. Apple, apple. We use our index finger and we bend it and then we're gonna twist it on our cheek. Apple, apple. Let's see how many apples we have. One apple. Two, two apples. Let's see what else we've got. Hmm, ooh, 
Do you know what fruit this is? This is called a mango. Mango. To sign for mango, we go like this. Mango. Mango. Your hand is kind of in a C position. C. Mango. This is a mango. We have one mango. One mango. Let's see what else we've got. Ooh, I see a pear. This is a pear. To sign for pear, we go like this. Pear. Kind of trying to make a pear shape with your hand. Pear. Pear. We have one pear. Let's see what else we've got. Ooh. This is a peach. Peach. To sign for peach, we go like this. Peach. Peach. We're gonna gently touch our cheek because they're soft as a peach. 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 And you can sign like this. I want peach. I want peach, please. Let's see what else we've got. Ooh, I've also got some vegetables. Let's see. I've got a red tomato. Tomato. To sign for tomato, you can go like this. Red tomato. Tomato. This is red tomato. Like you're chopping it up. Chopping up a tomato. And I've got an avocado. Avocado. To sign for an avocado, you make a hand shaped like an avocado and kind of scoop it. Avocado. 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 Wow, look at all these fruits and vegetables that we have here. Let's put some of them away. I got so many of them out. And let's see what our baby would like. Baby, what would you like to eat? What would you like to eat for breakfast? Baby says, oh wow, I want apple, please. Oh sure, we can get you an apple. I'll leave an apple here. Put the rest of this stuff away. It was really fun learning all the fruits and some vegetables with you. Thank you for helping me. Something else you can have for breakfast is cereal. This is how we sign cereal. Cereal. Let's pour some cereal for baby. I got cereal in here, ready? Let's pour it in a bowl. This is a bowl, let's pour it. Pour, pour, pour. All right, and we add milk. Milk to cereal. To sign for milk, we go like this. Milk, 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 please. Let's pour it, ready? I'm gonna tilt it, tilt it. Pour. All right, and here is a spoon. Here's a spoon. Stir, stir, mix, mix. Here we go. Cereal for baby with an apple. Now, baby, are you thirsty? Can I get you something to drink? Oh, baby's saying, yes, I would love something to drink. All right, let's think. We can drink some milk, water, or juice. What would you like? Baby says, oh, I would love some juice, please. All right, let me get some juice for you. Baby, I have some orange juice. Orange juice. Let's pour it in. Pouring it in. Ooh, let's pour some more. This is how we sign for more. More juice, please. More juice, please. Here's more juice. Pouring it in. Here you go, baby. Here's some juice for you to drink. Baby's going, oh wow, yum, 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 yum. Drink, 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 drink. All right, 
And sometimes at breakfast time, you might see grown-ups drinking coffee. Coffee's only for grown-ups, but you might see it around a lot. Let's pour some coffee together. Here's my cup. Here's some coffee. Pouring it in. Pour, pour, pour. Let's drink it. Ooh, cheers. Cheers. Yay. Are you all done? Do you feel full? Are you all done? Or would you like more to eat? More to eat. Baby says, I would love more to eat. All right, baby. Let me get this out of the way. And we can make more to eat. Let's make some more to eat. I've got a pan, a toaster. Let's make some toast. To make toast, we need to get a piece of bread. To sign for bread, we go like this. Bread. We pretend this hand is a loaf of bread and we slice it. Bread. Bread. And then we take a slice and we put it in the toaster. First we take a slice of bread, then we put it in. Waiting, waiting patiently, pop goes the toast. Whoa, did you see it pop like that? That was so silly. To sign for toast, we go like this. Toast. Toast. We pretend this piece is, is a piece of the toast and it's toasted on both sides. Toast. Toast. Oh, baby, let me get some plates. Here's a plate for you and a plate for you. Baby, here is some toast. Next, hmm, how about some pancakes? To sign for pancakes, we go like this. Pancake. Pretend this is the pan and you're flipping a pancake. 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 Let's make some pancakes. One, two. Cooking, cooking pancakes. Cooking, cooking pancakes. I'm gonna flip it, ready? Flip. Let's do one more. Flip. Cooking, cooking pancakes. Here's a pancake for you and a pancake for you. And would you like some berries? Berries? Here's some strawberry and I have blueberries, so I'll give that to you. To sign for waffles, we go like this. Waffle. We put this hand with three fingers up like a W for waffle. Waffle. Let's put our waffles in. Here's my waffles. And I'll put them in my toaster. In. Now we wait. Waiting, waiting. We're waiting for our waffles. Oh, I think they're ready. Pop! They popped out. We go cut. I'll pretend to cut, cut our waffle. Some for you and some for you. And something else we can cook for breakfast is, oh, an egg. This is an egg. To sign for egg, we go like this. Egg. Egg. You pretend to crack an egg. Egg. Let's crack it together. Crack. Here's our egg. Cook, cook, cook. Cook, cook, cook. And here you go. It's for you. Enjoy your breakfast. Oh yeah. Flip. Flip. Then we flip the way. Flip it on my plate. Thank you very much. Yum 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 yum. May I have some toast? We also have waffles. Oh, I would love a waffle. Whoa! Whoa! Wild 
chicken, you getting wild. Bawk, 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 bawk. What's going on over here? Hi, chicken. We're just making some breakfast. What's going on? Bawk, 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 bawk. Did you know that eggs come from chickens? They sit on their nest, lay an egg, then we can collect it, and that's how we get to eat them. Bawk, 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 bawk. Ooh, here, I have this little basket. We'll pretend this is the nest for the chicken. Oh, wow, let's see how many eggs we have in our nest. Let's see. One egg. Plus another egg. That's two eggs. Plus one more egg. That's one, two, three eggs. Another egg. That's four eggs. One, two, three, four eggs. Five. Now we have one, two, three, four, five eggs. Wow, so many eggs. Plus one more. Hmm, we had five plus one more. How many eggs do you think we have? Let's count them. One, two, three, four, five, six. Plus one more. Six plus one more. What comes after six? Seven. Let's see how many eggs we have. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Bawk, 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 bawk. Whoa. Another egg plus one more. Let's count them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight eggs. Bawk, 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 bawk. What? Plus one more. Whoa! Let's count them again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And what comes after nine? Boop, 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 boop. I think it's ten. I think you might be right, chicken. We have one more. Nine plus one. Let's see how many eggs we have. One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We counted ten eggs. Thank you for counting with me. a really yummy breakfast. Now that we've eaten all of our food and we feel nice and full, let's clean up. Wash, 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 we'll wash our bowl, wash, 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 wash our bowl, and wash our plates, and we'll wash the pan, wash, wash. All right, thank you so much for cleaning up with me. I think now we're ready to go and play, do fun activities. I'm so excited to play with you. We wanna make sure we say thank you for our food and thank you for breakfast and cooking for us. Baby says thank you, thank you. Oh, you're very welcome. You're welcome. Well, now that we're all done with the breakfast and we're ready to play, let's set some affirmations or some good intentions for the day. That way, when hard things come along, we'll remember that we can do hard things. Let's do three affirmations. One, I am brave. You can repeat after me and say, I am brave. That way, when hard things come along the way, we can remember that we are brave. 
Second affirmation is, I can do hard things. And you can repeat after me. I can do hard things. When hard things come along the way, we'll remember that we can do them. If we try and try again, we can do anything. Let's do our third affirmation. I speak kindly to myself and to others. That means when we talk to ourselves or when we talk to others, we use kind words. We speak kindly. You can repeat after me. I speak kindly to myself and to others. Especially when kind of tricky things or hard things come along the way, we want to remember that we want to speak kindly to ourselves and to others. Now that we've cleaned up, had really good breakfast and full of energy, let's play and do some fun activities. Come on! Let's play with some puppets. Puppets are toys that go over your hand and inside you can go up and down, up and down, up and down. You have your thumb on one side and your other fingers on the other side. And you close and open, close and open, close and open. Let's play with this cow puppet. This cow says, moo, moo. When cows wake up in the morning, they always say hello. When cows wake up in the morning, they always say hello. And what do they say? Moo. And that is what they say. Hi, cow, how are you? Moo, I'm doing really good. How are you? We're doing really good. We talked about some affirmations. Sometimes when hard things come along, we can remember that we can be brave. And sometimes it's important to do deep breaths. Cow, how do you do a deep breath? I do it like this. Wow, that's a good one. Do you want to do a cow deep breath with us? Ready? Breathe in some air. How silly. I've got a piggy. Hi, piggy. Piggy's waving hello. When piggies wake up in the morning, they always say hello. When piggies wake up in the morning, they always say hello. And what do they say? Oink, 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 Hi, piggy. Hello. Piggy, how do you do a deep breath? Oh, I do it like this. Oink! Do you want to do a piggy deep breath with me? Ready? Breathe in. Oink! How silly! Oink, 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 oink! Now I've got a sheep puppet. Hello, sheep! Sheep says, bah. when sheep wake up in the morning, they always say, hello. When sheep wake up in the morning, they always say, hello. And what do they say? Bah. That is what they say. Hi, sheep. Hello, hello. Sheep, how do you do a deep breath? Oh, I do it like this. Bah. Let's do it together. Breathe in. Breathe out. Bah! How silly. Bah! Hi, horse. Hey, everybody. I'm a horse and I say nay. Hello. When horses wake up in the morning, they always say hello. When horses wake up in the morning, they always say hello. And what do they say? Nay! That is what they say. Hi, horse. Hello, everybody. Horse, how do you do a deep breath? Oh, I do it like this. Nay! Oh, wow, let's do it together. You ready? Let's breathe in. Nay! Wow, 
you're really good at taking deep breaths and making great animal sounds. Great job! Let's do a fun activity together and you can ask your grown-up for help. You can cut out two friends and some clothes for them and we'll play dress up. Let's do it. Let's play dress up. I've got two friends. They each have two eyes. What else do we have on our face? How about our nose? Let's do a cute nose here and a cute nose here. And what about our mouth? Let's draw a cute mouth here and a cute mouth here. Wow, how cute. All right, let's help our friends get dressed. First, this friend says, oh, I would like a shirt, please. Let's see, I've got a yellow, black, or purple shirt. Let's go with, hmm, this friend says, I would like a purple shirt, please. You see the purple shirt? Yeah, right here. Let's put it on. Great job. Now, how about some, we can do shorts or pants. What do you think? Friend says, ooh. Mm, it's a little warm out, so maybe some shorts. All right, let's see what kind of shorts we have. I have purple, pink, blue, or red. What kind of shorts would you like to wear today? Friend says, ooh, I would like some blue shorts. Do you see the blue shorts? Yeah, right here. Let's put them on I'll move these out of the way. Now we've got some shoes. I have a pair of red shoes, pink shoes, purple shoes, or blue shoes. This friend says, I would like some shoes to match my shirt. Which shoes match the shirt. The purple ones? That's right, let's put them on. We put our shoes on our feet. Here we go. Oh wow, this friend looks really great. This friend says, I would like a dress. I have a red dress, pink dress, yellow with orange or orange dress. Which one would you like? Oh, I would love to wear the pink dress with the blue bottom. Do you see that one? Yeah, right here. Here you go. And what kind of shoes would you like? Oh, I would like some pink shoes, please. Sure. Here you go. Oh, wow, our friends look so great. They're ready to go and play. Thank you for helping me. Here's another fun activity we can do. I have a little plant pot where we plant some plants. I got some paint and a couple of paint brushes. I was thinking together we can paint this pot and then we can plant a plant in it and this could be a really cute gift that you can give to your mom or dad or grandma or grandpa or teacher or friend. You can make your own painted pot and then give them a nice plant or a flower. So let's paint this one together. Let's see, we'll grab a paintbrush and first we'll use some pink and we'll just do cute little designs how about a little zigzag, zig, zag, zig, zag, zig, zag. That's fun. Let's see, maybe some purple. And we can do some pop, dot, 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 dot. Cool, 
cool thing about crafts is you can do whatever you'd like and make it any design that you want to as long as you're having fun. You can also paint your hand and then do a handprint on it, which would be also really cool. Let's do a blue line. That's cute. Let's see, I'll use a different brush for our white paint. Let's see, and we'll just do some dots, dot, 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 dot. That's cute. Then I can do, ooh, how about yellow? And we'll draw a little sun. I'll do a circle and We'll do line, line, line coming out of it. That's cute. Do we have any more space? Oh, we do. How about this orange paint? And we'll do lines going this way. Line, 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 line. Wow, look at that. We made a really cute little pot for a plant. And you can plant a flower in it or a cute plant. You can even do an edible plant. I have some plants that we can plant in our pot. And this is basil. This is a tomato plant. And you can plant them and then put them in your kitchen if you'd like. And then when you need to cook with some basil or need some tomatoes, they'll be right there in your kitchen. Let's plant our tomato plant. I'll take it out of this container. Here we go, we took it out. And I'll place it in here. Well, now we just need to fill it up with some soil. I've got some soil in here and a little shovel. Let's see, we'll fill it up, dig. Pour some in. Dig. Pour some in. Dig. Pour some in. I'm making a little bit of a mess. Sometimes it can be tricky, kind of hard to pour things in, but you know what? We can do hard things. I'll take some deep breaths. Ooh, maybe I'll take a deep breath like a cow. You want to do it with me? Moo! Here we go. We can do hard things. And it's all right to make a mess because we can clean it up. Here we go. Now we've got our own tomato plant. And you can have your own tomato plant for you or you can gift it to someone you love and they can put it in their kitchen and grow their own tomatoes. Now that this is planted, I'll move it to the side and we can clean this up. Clean up, clean up. Everybody, let's clean up, clean up, clean up. Clean your mess up. Clean up, clean up. We can clean up. Yes, we can, yes, we can, because we can clean up. All right, and I'll put this in my soil bin. Here we go. Thank you for helping me. Just dip your paintbrush in the colors and then paint all around. Or you could put paint on your hand and do a cute hand stamp. Not beautiful. I'm orange. Stamp my pinky. Oh my yeah, you can do a little finger stamp, that's cute. Then I'll show you what I did after once you paint it. Take this out and then you can put this in here. Put it in, good work. And then you can grab a little soil and then put that into the pot to fill it up. Fill it up, get you some more. Here you go. Yeah! That's okay, you know what? That happened to me too. And I said, that's okay to make a mess because we can clean it up. Let me do it now. Okay, let's do it. Here, let me turn it. 
Here we go. Why is it all the drops? Yeah, let's clean it up together. You ready? Here's another fun activity you can do at home if you ask your grown up for help. You can cut out little foods like bananas and carrots, watermelon, and we can create little recipes that we can then repeat. I'll show you how to do it. Come on! Here's a fun little game called a recipe that you can play at home. First, we'll create a recipe up here. How about this recipe for a piece of bread, cheese, avocado, egg, and another piece of bread. It'll be a little sandwich. Let's see if we can do it together. All right, let's match it. First, we need a piece of bread. Next, oh, cheese. Avocado. Egg. And another piece of bread. We did it! Now let's do another recipe. We'll clean this up. Put our things away. All right, let's do another fun recipe. How about strawberry, watermelon, banana, and an orange? Ready? Let's make it together. First, we have a strawberry, then a watermelon, a banana, and orange. We did it! Let's put them away and do another little recipe. Here we go. How about we do a little salad and we'll do a broccoli, carrot, let's make it fun, we'll do a plum, and a tomato. Ooh, let's make it again. First we have a broccoli, a carrot, a plum, and a tomato. Yay, we did it. Thank you for helping me. Let I'll make it first, and then you can repeat it. I did watermelon, banana, let's do strawberry and a plum, and then you can match it down here. So first we need a watermelon. Let's grab it. I'm gonna put it right here. What's the next one? Banana. Let's grab it. Here we go. And what's next? Strawberry. <laughs> Let's grab a strawberry. Put it on. And what's next? Plum cut. Let's do a plum cut. Yay! You did it. You want to do another recipe? All right. What are you thinking? Watermelon. Mm -hmm. And maybe an egg. Ooh. Oh, okay, okay. I'll try to copy your recipe now. So, watermelon. And then, next we do watermelon and egg. All right, okay, here we go. Egg. And then I get plum cut after the egg. Here we go. And, and then what's next? Then I put a banana. I'll do a banana. And then, what's next? Mommy. And then I put a strawberry and egg. Here we go. You want to do another one? We also have broccoli, avocado, bread, cheese, tomato. You want to do another one? Okay. Do you want to be something different? It'll be something different. Okay, I'm excited Mommy, to see. Mommy, I'm going to make some okay. stuff up. Go ahead. And, and, and see. Okay. An egg and a watermelon and a plum. Ooh, okay, okay, okay. So, 
an egg. A watermelon. But this is what they It's for, I'll show you how to get a watermelon egg. Come on, egg. Okay, okay, okay. Watermelon egg. Plum and an egg. That's a good recipe. You want to do another one? Oh, oh. Well, then I do another one, but then going to be something different. Okay, I'm excited so, to learn. Um, okay, what are you thinking? Watermelon egg. Bread. With some cheese on top Ooh, of yummy. it, cheesy toast, strawberry egg. Ooh, okay, okay. I'll scoot them over a little so we have room for me to repeat it. Okay. Mommy, I'm afraid yeah. I did watermelon. Okay, watermelon. And then I did egg. Egg. Then and, what's next? And then I did bread. With some cheese on top. Red with some cheese on top. And then a strawberry. And a strawberry. Oh, I think I'm missing one more egg in here like you. Two eggs. There we go. Now it matches. Can I do one more? Um, you can do it because now I'll pick yours. Okay. And I'll sit behind it. Okay. Are you ready? This is going to be a good one. And what I'm going to be on the side. Avocado. Oh, are you excited to learn? How about avocado, a carrot, broccoli, egg, and cheese. Whoa. Can I repeat it? Yeah, you can repeat it. Mommy, tell me what you did, and I will do it. Okay. First, I have an avocado. What do you have next? Carrot. Good one. Then I have a broccoli. An egg. And cheese. And now they match. You did it. Let's do a fun color matching activity. I have some stars and these tongs. To use tongs, we're gonna go pinch, pinch, pinch. Kind of like when we were doing the puppets and we go open, close, open, close, open, close. We do the same thing. We go open, close, open, close, open, close. And that's how we pinch, pinch, pinch. All right, let's see. First, I'll pinch and I've got an orange star. Do you see the spot? for an orange star. <gasps> yeah, right here. Let's put it on. Next, ooh, I've got a blue star. Do you see the blue spot? Right here. Put it on. Next, ooh, I've got this little white kind of beige star. Do you see the spot for it? Yeah, right here. Let's put it on. And I've got a purple star. Do you see the spot for it? Right here. Let's put it on. Great job. Thank you for helping me. Here's another fun color matching activity you can do at home. And if you go to your local hardware store, you can pick up some of these paint samples and then cut them. When you're learning to use scissors, it's important to be very careful and we'll use that closing motion that we learned. Remember when we were doing the puppets and those little tongs? We're going open, close, open, close. That's what we do with scissors as well. When we place our hand in, we're gonna go open, close, open, close. Sometimes it helps me when I put a little smiley face on my thumb. So I put a little eye, eye, mouth. And that helps me remember to keep my thumb upward so it's always smiling at me. And then when I'm cutting, I keep my hands away from the blades because we don't want to cut ourselves. And we go open, close, open, 
close, and that's how we make a cut. Make sure when you're first starting to cut, you're always getting a help from your grown-up. And this is a fun activity you can do when you cut some colorful paper and then you can match it. Now let's match it. I have a red one. Do you see the red spot? Yeah, right here. I'll put it on. And then I have a blue one. Do you see the blue spot? Right here. Let's put it on. Next, I've got this green one. Right here, we'll put it on. How about this yellow one? Let's put it on the yellow. And I've got a purple one. Here we go. To play this activity at home, you can just put the piece of paper on a cardboard, or if you have the other pieces, you can use those to play. And if you pack it up in a little bag, you can always bring it to go and have an activity to go. If you go to a restaurant or you're out somewhere, you can have a fun activity to play. Thank you for playing with me and helping me. So in the, yeah, there you go. Is it a clip on? Let's try again, ready? Pinch it open and on. All right, what's the next color? All right, you ready? Nice. What you got, blue? Ooh, what'd you got? A yellow. Nice. Mommy, did it pinch me? Did it pinch you a little bit? Sometimes it can be tricky like that. Oh, let's flip this one over. There we go. Yeah, yeah. Look at that. You want to do it again? Wow, this was so much fun. Thank you so much for playing with me and for helping me. We helped our friend Baby wake up, get dressed, eat some yummy breakfast. We learned so many fruits and vegetables, sign language, and we did so many different activities, and we learned how to use scissors. Thank you, thank you, thank you for being my friend, for playing with me, and for spending your time with me. I'm really proud of you. Well, that's the end of this video, but if you're looking for more of our videos, make sure to search for Paisley's Corner with Silly Miss Lily, and I'll see you then. Bye-bye! Bye-bye!